Good morning, classy people. How y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your Speed King. It's Sunday morning. We're here in the studio having a cup of coffee as always. Hope everybody had a great, great weekend. We're one week away from the Breeders' Cup Championship Series, and it's going to be a great two days of uh, racing here. Uh, we wanted to come and talk to you about our tip sheet. Of course, we mentioned it in our previous videos, but we wanted to put a video out of what our tip sheet consists of. Uh, I like to call it a selection sheet going forward. Of course, we're going to do Breeders' Cup, and then any day after then, if you want our tip sheet, it'll be available for you. So I wanted to uh, bring it to you and let you know exactly what's in it, how much it costs, how to get it, and anything else that you have, any other questions that you may have. It will cost $15 for any full track. We will pick the top three selections, usually at any track, in order of preference. But let's go over some of the uh, things. So the tip sheet, like I said, uh, costs $15 for a full card analysis and our top two or three picks. It would look something like this, of course. You know? So, uh, all right. It'll look something like that, a full, full tip sheet. And what would be on it is... Um, of course, we're going to do uh, the full card for Friday, Breeders' Cup. Of course, we're going to do Saturday, you know. Um, payment. How do you get the $15 to us? Well, email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com, right? So that way you'll, we'll know that you want it. Uh, the tip sheet, either for Breeders' Cup for, or any other track in North America that you may want. You know, because we all have our favorite tracks, and necessarily we may not cover the videos that you're, uh, you know, tracks that you're, you're playing. So you let us know 24 hours in advance. That's always good. Give us time to pull the data together. Give us time to analyze the race. The way that you pay us is uh, by PayPal. I'll put a link down here. You'll see our PayPal. Uh, uh, donate us, and of course, it's on all of our videos. Also, Cash App or Ven Venmo, and either one of those three methods. Now, if you don't have those methods, don't worry about it. We'll work it out some way. Just email me, tell me what track you want, and um, I'll get it to you. But at least give me 24 hours to put the data together, to analyze the race, and give you the best selections that I can. So that is payment method. Uh, we What will be on our sheets? Well... On our sheet, typically, we'll have the top three picks, and sometimes just the top two. Here is the important thing. It's in the order of preference. The number one horse is our top pick. You really never want to leave that one out, right? That one is usually very, very strong. And our second choice is typically very, very strong. And then our third choice, again, is good, but it is in the order of preference. We'll give you the morning line odds right what we believe is fair odds and what we mean by fair odds is we assign odds to the horse versus its win probability so the lower their win probability the higher the fair value would be the higher the horse's win probability is the lower amount of odds we're willing to accept does that make sense it makes sense to me so on the sheet what you will have is the morning line what fair odds is from our standpoint, we run it through our database, we run it through our algorithm based on the third row here, which is a win probability. Let me give you an example. I'm looking at a horse called Distorted View. The morning line was two to one. We thought fair odds was two to one. His win probability was 18%. Okay, so each selection will have a probability percentage. So that'll tell you if it's 30%, 40%, and obviously, the higher the win probability, we're more likely to accept lower odds, okay? This way you can detect if it's an underlay or an overlay. So again, what you'll get on our pick sheet is our top two or three selections in order of preference. The first horse, I'm going to tell you now, you never want to leave the top pick out, ever, okay? Particularly if you're playing horizontal. So we'll give you our top three selections 
something like that. Or if we think it's a single, we'll just give you that particular horse, okay? So it includes the morning line, our, our fair odds, what we believe is acceptable. Anything lower than our fair odds, we don't think it's a play. And of course, our win probability, okay? So here is the big thing. This is really big for us. We believe our selections are best used in the body of the race, either in trifactors or exactors or superfactors. But more so, we believe that horizontally, our picks are very, very dangerous, speaking. We believe that when you give us multiple horses in a race across three races or two or four, that our win probability goes up and also our return goes up because these pick threes, pick fours, pick fives really have real value and big returns. But I use the top picks in the body. Like if I have three horses in the race, one, two, and three, I usually take the top pick first in the trifactor and the second and third pick in the second and then I push the all button in the third in the tri. So you can play with it all, you know, many, many different ways. But we do believe horizontally is the best way to use our tip sheets. In other words, pick uh, doubles, pick threes, and pick fours, and pick fives. Okay? So we, we just think that's a great way. I've, I'm a horizontal player, so it makes sense to me as well. In other words, uh, say a pick three. Say I got three horses in the first leg. Three horses in the second leg, three horses in the third leg. Well, three by three by three is twenty-seven dollars for a dollar. Half of that is thirteen fifty. That's pretty good. I hit a lot of pick threes like that. I take my top three selections, my top three selections, my top three selections. It's thirteen fifty. You know, particularly when I'm sitting here at night and I'm handicapping and I'm playing maybe a Mountaineer or Charlestown or Century Mile. You know, one of the small tracks. And, um, you know, I get $100, $200 back. So, again, horizontally is the best way to use our tip sheets, in my opinion. Morning line, fair odds, and win probability, as always. Okay, so there you go. My only thing is this. Give us 24-hour notice, right? Uh, email us, speedking24 at yahoo.com. Payment method, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. In any of our videos, if you look under the description, and if you don't see it, click See More, and it'll open up. You'll see our email there. You'll see our PayPal uh, button there. You'll see our Cash app there, or you will now, and you'll see our Venmo. But if by chance you don't have any of those methods, that's fine. Just email me. Tell me what track you want, and guess what? You're too classy. We'll work out how you'll pay us. But the important thing is that I get you the data that you want. That's what's important. So we'll make sure I'll get paid or we'll work that out. But you just make sure that you email me and say, hey, I want this track. This is my favorite track. Next Tuesday or Thursday or Friday, whatever track in America. Just give me 24 hours to do the analysis. We'll get it to you. Payment will work out. We're classy people. So, folks, there it is. The Speed King is rolling out his tip sheet. Starting with the Breeders' Cup, right? Breeders' Cup Friday. I got most of the work done, to be honest with you. Breeders' Cup Friday, right? The five races for the juvenile babies. And, of course, Big Day Saturday. Did I tell you I was going to beat up on Gamine and Saturday, right? So $15 each day. As always, stay classy. I thank you for your support. There is your Speed King tip sheet. With my ugly face on the front of it. As always, stay classy. Email us, speedking24 at yahoo.com for your tip sheet, Breeders' Cup style. Enjoy yourself. Have a good week as we move towards Breeders' Cup. Stay classy.